Okay, now a, a very, very important part of your swing is your elbow drive and your hip rotation into the ball, okay? Um, we've jumped up, we've got our hands into a, a good opened up position, and now we need to start using these levers to help us hit the ball hard, okay? What it's gonna do, okay, we want both hands up nice and high. This shoulder should be slightly higher than this one on the while we're exploding up, okay? What this hand is gonna do is gonna work as a lever. Um, First of all, it's going to keep us behind the ball, so if, if you're typically hitting the ball deep, it's probably because you're not getting your non-hitting hand up, okay? Or if you're running too far underneath the ball, it's probably because you have your non-hitting arm down or down here, and now you're getting too far into the ball, okay? So, again, we need this, this shoulder higher than this shoulder in this phase of the, uh, the elbow drive. Okay, as this hand now drives down, what it's designed to do is rotate your hips around. Okay, from a back position to a front position. Okay, and this is where the power comes in a hit. Okay, um, your power comes to your hips or your core rotating into the ball. The speed actually comes from your elbow to wrist snap. Okay, so um, uh, a lot of times what I see is on this non hitting hand, instead of pulling it down into their body, they'll tend to sweep it out in front of them. Okay, and uh, if you think of, uh, of like a figure skater, when they go into a twirl, they don't stick their arms out because if they were to do that, that would slow them down, okay? And what we're trying to do is whip our hips around so it gives us a lot of power coming into uh, contacting that ball. So we want to see this hand pull straight down into our body and rotate our hips around, okay? And some tricks to get this up is we use the solo swipe where I'll stand on a chair and I'll actually hold a band up here and make them jump up and grab that, that uh, band out of my hand with their non-hitting hand, okay? That really keeps that hand nice and high. Or you can tell them, pretend like there's a rope hanging from the ceiling, and they're going to jump up and grab that rope and climb up it, okay? And they would never climb a rope with their arms strong, long, unless they're very, very strong, okay? Another thing is you can tell them, pretend like they're pulling a horn in a semi or on a train. That's how we want that arm to come down. Now, as this arm starts pulling down, this lever starts turning our hips, this hand here will start falling back, okay? And it's going to come to about this position right here, okay? And the reason we want this hand back is because, again, we know the longer the lever, the more the distance, the more force we can generate, okay, or more speed. The power in your spike comes from your hips rotating or your core rotating. The speed comes from your elbow to wrist snap. Okay, so the things we're watching for, we want to make sure they keep the, this elbow also nice and high. We're going to reach, we're going to pull the rope, we're going to rotate our hips, we're going to drop our hand, and then we're going to snap. Okay, and we'll go through the ball contact phase in just one second here. But the main things we're looking for, we're going to pull this lever down, rotate our hips around, and drop this hand back. 